Hi guys, Nick here with BitGalaxis with another Asset Forge build video. And today I am going to build a small castle. And a lot of times I like to have something kind of in mind, but today I just wanted to throw some stuff out there. And to begin with, normally on a build that I know is going to be a building, I like to go ahead and put down one cube and stretch it out and give myself some boundaries. In this case I have it 7x7 seven seven, and that's my ground and that's what I gotta stick to. And a lot of times you know you may find yourself restricted by that but if you want to make something small you know that's usually pretty easy. If I really wanted to make this difficult I could make it 3x3 three three, and that would be very hard. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do a 7x7 seven seven, pretty comfortable size not gonna take too long and we'll just begin. So with the castle, for me, I like to start out with the entrance, and it can be anything really. I usually have like, this is just going to be like a small tower build, and maybe not like that. I'm going to start out a little bit further back, and I might build out forward somewhere else. But this isn't going to be like your just, you know, your standard typical castle. This might be uh, a small little, you know, maybe a chapel or, or something. and. With castles, it's so easy because you can just kind of play along with it. Don't be afraid to, you know, just tweak, move things back and forth. Now, on the Asset Forge version that I have, you know, I've got um, these little curve pieces, and these are really quite awesome. When you press uh, Shift, you can keep placing the same piece over and over again. I forgot to do that the first time. And one thing with castles, I have a tendency personally where I will always make them symmetrical and that's not necessarily always a good thing so today I'm going to avoid that I'm probably just going to make a castle that has uh, you know like a plateau and different levels so I'll just kind of keep going along here and seeing where I go with it so you can see it's pretty easy to just keep adding walls and Maybe, you know what I could do? I could put another entrance and something also kind of neat is they have these curved fence pieces. I don't think I'm going to put one there. I think I'm going to put a straight piece out here. Yeah, I like that. And curve it out. The castles, I like to kind of make little gardens. Um, and you can make trees really easily within Asset Forge. I'll show you how you can do that here in just a second. But you can tell on a castle, I tend to like to make the ground the floor plan first and then build up from that. And it's hard to say, you know, where that might lead because you can have, you know, your first level can be very different from your second level. You could have uh, one level that spreads out a lot and then half of your castle ends up being really tall, the other half ends up being kind of short. Um, you know, you don't have to worry too much about how you start it and where you go with it, but, um, you know, we'll get there. So, maybe we'll have like a little room over here, and I'm going to move this over. One, and that's that's going to be the overall shape. And you know, I, I think okay, I think it could look a little bit better. But let's see where we can take it. Oops. Oh, and when you're placing pieces, you know, you just got to press space to rotate them before you place them down. That's really easy to do. One neat thing about Asset Forge is these little flags. Uh, the castle has these flags. You can just throw them up there. Uh, I covered a window. Not what I meant to do. And we'll go up about that far. One thing I like is you also have these little covers. So this can be a little bit tricky. When you want to go on top of something, sometimes you just kind of have to zoom in and just put your mouse kind of over it, but if not, you know, you can drag, and 
here I wasn't able to get it but once you have one if you just kind of hover over the edge of a neighbor it'll put it right there with it and so this was going to be a small little room but it's going to be one story but we might make it like a little deck so I'll put a little door here and an entrance up there oh man look at me I accidentally placed it clicking too fast for myself here hopefully I'm not moving the camera around too fast for you I'll try to slow down I forget I rotate a lot um, but let's go back into this get a little window up here and we'll put um, this little little outcropping here I don't know what you would actually call that like that and good and yeah, we'll just continue our wall same way leave it like that and I've kind of put like you know two levels here I don't know if I want another outcropping or just uh, leave it blank I'll just leave it like that. One of the things is sometimes it doesn't look great to have like an empty wall, but it's not always terrible. Um, what I could do there, what I may do, is have a little. Yeah! That looks kind of nice. Put some stairs in there. Now, one thing that I've noticed is uh, you might want to keep your fences inside the block because sometimes they'll be like you can rotate and make them outside or inside. So just you know use good judgment on that. Kind of figure out where do you want to put it. And can I get this up here? Apparently, I can't. Oh, uh, one difficult thing is getting it to match up exactly the way you want. So wasn't able to on that one, but. I don't know what to do right here. I kind of want to put something there, but I don't know what I will put there. So I'll just kind of leave that be for now. What I do want to do is put up another round part and finish this. I guess this kind of this tower here. Oh, look what I did! I did it again. Got one more. Delete that out of there. And I will probably start putting up, I think they call these battlements. Um, if I'm wrong in that terminology for those castle experts out there, I apologize. Um, come on, get there. And you struggle sometimes. You struggle. I should say I struggle sometimes. I don't always get that perfect. I, and there's there's probably a good way if somebody has a better way of like snapping these correctly let me know because uh, I, I personally yeah you can tell I'm not doing great there ah and it's like the wrong thing but you know what I kind of like the way that looks it's a little offset so sometimes uh, making a mistake is not a big deal because it sometimes it ends up being better than what you thought it would be I'm gonna do this eh, it probably would be better if it weren't on a turn, but let me at least put this up here, and I may do this. Oh, there I go again. Yeah, we'll just leave it up all the way for now. If I were doing another build uh, and I had this straight across, I would probably just go ahead and like make that flat and actually lift that up a little bit. I think that looks kind of neat, um, but not for this, not for this one. And I can't, I still can't get it. I'm still not doing well here. There it is. Finally. Dragged it way over there. Took a long time. And there are so many different pieces. It's just crazy. Now I ended up getting all these extra pieces with my Asset Forge build. So look on the site for the version to get you that. Um, 
And I'll put a link to that as well. And sometimes it helps to, you know, if I would have, there we go. If you just touch, like, if you can kind of get to a point where you can see the top edge, it'll get you there. But it's kind of tricky at times, so. Um, and a lot of times in my builds, I don't always worry so much about, like, the interiors. But, you know, um, because I kind of just like looking at it from the outside. And if I put them into, like, a little game or a demo, I'm not really going inside. I'm just kind of having their visuals. But... There are plenty of options for doing that. Let's say you want to be able to get to that top part. Well, you can, you know, always build it. And, you know, also really easy is the fact that one is like each level is just one. Really simple. And you can scale that up. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and you know, I'll just make an interior. Why not? Why not? You know, let's actually make it so that it's something that you can go into and um, you can have, you know, your level actually be, you know, something you can walk around in. And, you know, once you get it in there, you can program these doors to open and on a hinge or whatnot. And I forgot to put a front door here. Do that right now. And a door here. I like the round doors. You don't ask me why. I just, that's what I prefer, the square doors. I'm like, yeah, they're, they're good. Nothing wrong with them. But I prefer these. And we'll move this up. Oh, we'll sp space. And there it is. Now, what else? What else should I do? You know, something I didn't realize, because I just never, I assumed it never worked, is I, um, I didn't realize, I think once you place it, you go back, you can still press space to spin it around like that. I thought you had to use the rotate buttons, which are the UIO, um, but apparently not. So I have that, and you know, you probably want to put columns as well, just to make it look more, you know, like the structure is being supported. And we'll put a column on top, put it on two. Right? Why is it? Oh, it probably needs to be 1.5. Sometimes what I don't understand is why some things are 1, some things are like 1.5, but you start to figure out, you know, oh, obviously it went too high, so if it's not 1, it's 1.5. So, uh, put a column there, just to make it look like it's structurally sound and things like that. Now with the tower, I'm not really sure how I'm going to put anything in there. You know, what do you, what do you put in there? You got these curved pieces, so I guess you could do that. Drag these up. And again, I'm going to just copy it and space and copy it again and space and copy it. Oh, by the way, copy is, I didn't copy that time, copy is C and then you just drag it and there it is. But in reality, I don't know why I used a curve piece there because you could do this and uh, can I get the edge? I can but got to drag it over. So there's our interior. And I may, you know, like I said, I wanted to get that. What I may do is just bring this out here. And you could put like a little post like that. Put two of them. And we'll put just for fun, just because, you know, because we can. And, oh, come on, come on. Ah! There we go. Got it. First try. All right. And, you know, you could have that wide open. Uh, what I, you know, oh, here we go. That's what I could do. Like a large entrance. And, of course, you want to cover that. You don't want to draft. So... Get that in there. It's coming along pretty good. Um, I think I want to do another like large opening, like a window here, maybe. Yeah. Weird. Maybe I don't like that. 
Oh well. I'll keep it. You know, I need to remember. I keep forgetting to do this, but I press. You need to press shift when you're doing do multiples. And I have to come over here and get it up there. Go all the way up. I can't get it to go up. Shucks. There we go. I gotta go here. Here we go. I got to go here. Uh, I say that, and then it didn't work. I'm fighting. I'm fighting this. This game's this game. This tool. I'm gonna copy that and drag it over. Yeah, got it. And you know, I didn't really put a way of getting to the top floor, but I guess the in really in practice I could just do this. Let me delete that. Do it the easy way. Uh, that works. We'll drag it over, and we could actually throw in another. Staircase, I'm going to copy. And there's the... Oh, that one's weird, too. 7. 1.7. How bizarre. Sometimes I don't get it, but, you know, I, I get it, I guess. Um, we'll put the floor here. Copy. Copy. Copy, and we will also put a staircase here so they can get up to the top. If I can get that, you know, I'm not going to get it. I'm just going to drag it down to 2.7, 2.5. There we go. And we'll have that, and we'll get this shift. Space, shift, space. That was easy. Oh, I forgot to. You know what? Oh, instead of doing that, don't fight that. Just group them and then copy. You just do shift and select. And boom, there you have it. So, now you can actually get in and climb up to every single level. And you've got a castle you can go into. I wish that there were ones that had windows. Now, you know, if you really wanted to, you could create those and, uh, you know, like Blender or something like that and add your own blocks because that's an option. Um, but, you know, something to consider. And I'll probably want to add some kind of detail to it anyway. Uh, you know, and if you had it in a game and you wanted to, like, you know, put something up in a build, there's some space to do it. So let's go ahead and finish it off. I think we're almost done here. Uh... And we'll copy that, move it over. And there are some little things I noticed that weren't quite perfect in how I positioned them. But, you know, generally speaking, works well. Let's add a little bit of detail, a little flag at the top. And I like to just you know, move it right in the middle. And we'll say 2.5. I think 2.5 and 1.5 is actually... Is that actually the middle? No. 0.7. Oh, yeah, because the middle of the flag is actually kind of like right here. Um, so, anyway, there's a flag up there. And, you know, if you want to put a chimney or something, you can do it right here. There we go. Oh, you know, you probably want to put it on the inside, though, wouldn't you? Like, yeah, we'll put it. Let's see what it looks like. Can I get in there? Can I? Can I see? I can. I'll actually... Oh, well, there's a back. I'll just use the back. There we go. Back and the front. And we'll have a giant chimney stack. I don't... Did, did, did they have chimneys and castles? I don't, I don't really know. I, what would I know? I'm gonna... Yeah. Drag that up. Add another piece, and then drag this up to connect them, because they do overlap, and, yeah, say, uh, now, it's hard to say, 
how should I address this? Yeah, I don't like having it like when it perfectly overlaps because then it doesn't look you know what we could do is like expand it a little. That may not look very great. But then that way you're not you know, you don't have that conflict for the surfaces. Um, boy that really doesn't look great, does it? Maybe I'll just remove this piece. Call that good. Hmm. You know? There's a conflict, and I don't know how to address that. I think what I could do is... I don't know what I could do. Actually, I do know what I could do. I'm going to expand all these just a little bit. And that's my solution. Just a hair. And now no conflict there you know inside it's not gonna match but does it really matter eh. enough for me to actually do something about it so I'll go ahead and do that and I'll call that good so now we got chimney and again the tower just hasn't have any detail you could go ahead and just throw a flag on it like this and go like that. And I'll drag it around the 2.5 and you know we could we could scale it up and down but you're also going to scale the wood so I really just kind of leave it as is and I'll probably put it like that. And there you have it. I mean there's our castle. It's kind of kind of crazy little all over the place but it's kind of fun you know something you can go around explore in put into a game walk around and um, with unity you know if you drop that into unity uh, there actually is like a scale that works pretty well um, that one-to-one -one, the floor if you can get like if you can say make this door height like eight feet or so then you end up getting something that works pretty well so you know you just take uh, a measurement get like an object that's about eight feet tall and do that scale uh, and that usually is what works for me best, is when I kind of a assume that the doors in, in Asset Forge are 8 feet, uh, then I can usually get it to scale pretty well for what the castle is, or any building really, because there's also the city blocks. So, um, that's it for my build today. Uh, thank you guys for watching, I hope to see you next time.